you uh, did you not want to get out of the pool? It seemed like you wanted to uh, stay out the ice forever. Yeah, no, I wanted to stay out there. The ice is great, and uh, you know, just me and Jeff were out there, had the ice to ourselves with Cade. So, um, yeah, just wanted to stay out as long as we could. Seems like it's uh, you've been going through this every day, discussing. Uh, I wonder day to day if. For example, when you came out here with Pittsburgh, do you feel better, you know, three, four days later, or is it more week to week that you notice changes, or month to month? Um, well, I haven't, haven't really gone a full, full month yet, but it's been, uh, you know, a good few weeks, I think, of, of feeling good. And um, no, I mean, the main thing is to feel good every day, and that's uh, that's been a constant. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think uh, I go with every day, even thinking about it too much now. I think it's something that. Uh, Kind of expect it, which is good, and uh, it's it's nice to, to kind of have that feeling and to go out there uh, not thinking about it too much. Sydney, obviously, when you're ready to return, you're ready to return. But is there kind of a time frame in your mind down the road when you would maybe not make it public, but that would be the time when I hope to be ready to come back? Um, well, I think when I get back from from this trip, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll I'll meet with doctors and kind of go from there. But um, you know, I don't really know what their time frame is as far as how long they want me to feel good. We haven't really discussed that. I think they've just wanted me to go out there and, and feel good every day and not worry about, you know, too much of the future. So um, I think uh, for me, I think probably meeting them uh, at some point when I get back and, and seeing uh, what they think as far as, you know, the next step being contact. How, how tough are these last two nights or last two games being just sitting there when you're starting to feel better and it's <clears> yeah. to get back out there? How tough is it to watch? Yeah, it's tough, and uh, I've kind of uh, been doing a lot of that lately the last uh, last eight, nine months. But, uh, no, I think that being said, uh, I'm really happy to be with the team and to be traveling with them and kind of going through a regular routine somewhat. So, um, yeah, I guess it's kind of mixed. I think, yeah, part of me is definitely uh, upset I'm not playing, but um, really happy with, uh, with the progress and, um, you know, definitely want to get back as soon as I can. Do you think in some ways maybe you might be a different player when you return? Um, I, I don't think different player. I think, if anything, uh, I've always appreciated, you know, playing NHL, but I think I'll appreciate it even more. And hopefully, uh, you know, there's things that I can take away from this whole process and um, things that uh, will hopefully make me better and things that I've learned. But um, as a player, no, I mean, I hope it makes me better in some way. Better than anything. Is it a test of your patience and discipline uh, to, to not get impatient because there's no definitive timeline? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to be patient. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm the most patient person when it comes to wanting to come back. I think uh, every guy, you know, the second that you're able to come back, you're back. But uh, that being said, uh, I think you have to understand the nature of everything and really educate yourself on, you know, how you feel and. Um, what's necessary, kind of making each step, and um, I've been able to do that. So yeah, I mean, you know, I think for me it's just important to make sure I understand that. But uh, you know, like, I want to be back as, as soon as possible.